Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, and it reads, There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops with great millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Now, there's a way that seemed right unto a man. Talking about these false prophets, man. In Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they're teaching that you can do your woman, you can have sex um, with your woman in an anus. You see, you can have anal sex. That's what these false prophets are teaching. They're teaching that you can take the M-A-R-K, that grain of rice, if you get hungry. What else are they teaching? Oh, yeah, they're teaching that if, if someone, if, if you hate a man, or someone does something to you, to get them back, you can go and mess around with, with his wife, which is adultery. You see, oh yeah, the teaching that you can um, get on elusive drugs and all this other nonsense. There's a way that seems right unto a man teaching that nonsense, breaking down the scriptures the wrong way. When the scriptures tell us don't add and don't take away, right? There is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So all that wayward doctrine, all that nonsense leads to death. Now, that's what it does. Messing with the next man's woman leads to death. That's adultery, which is punishment, punishable by death. You see, um, plus the scriptures tell us um, that we are the temple of the Lord. You you promoting someone to take illicit drugs or drugs, period, you're defiling your temple. Because we are the temple of the Lord. And Lord said, if you defile your temple, he would he would destroy you pretty much, right? Tim, once again, teaching that you can take the um, M-A-R-K. You know what I'm saying that grain of rice if you get hungry and all this other nonsense, man. You see, I mean, it, it, it's so much that you can't even remember it all. But once again, Proverbs 14 and 12, there is a way which seem right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And then soon we rebuke them or correct them, they got something to say. Do you see these false Israelite groups? They don't want you to say nothing to them, but this is our job. When we see some, we say something. Somebody break down the scripture the wrong way, look, we come back and correct it. You see? Somebody's pushing some nonsense. Look, look, according to the Bible, look, look, we break it down the right way. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1, and it reads, Cry aloud, spare not. The Lord told us to cry aloud and don't spare no one's feelings when it comes to bringing out the judgments of the Lord. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. A trumpet is a loud playing instrument. The Lord said, lift up your voice like a trumpet and show my people, the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and show my people their transgressions. What is transgression? Sin. Breaking of the laws. We got to tell our people where they're going off at. According to the Bible, we bring out scriptures proving that, right? And show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. So when we bring out the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, these false prophets get steaming mad. What great millstone? Y'all always got something to say about somebody. Won't y'all just mind y'all business? We is minding our business. This word is our business. We are about our father's business, man. You see, this steam, this, this is the spirit that the Lord put on us, man. Is to reprove, rebuke. Let's let's get this. Let's get um Micah right quick. Let's get Micah chapter three verse eight. Cause remember, every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Let's get this. Micah chapter three. So if we sit back and don't say nothing. Everybody would would be happy as a law. You see. But then whoever died, you know what I'm saying, their blood is going to be required at the watchman's hands because we supposed to have been teaching the truth according to the Bible. We supposed to, look, we just read, you know what I'm saying, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You don't supposed to keep silence. They that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Micah chapter 3 verse 8. We're set up to reprove and rebuke and exhort with all long suffering. We're, so we're going to get that. Lord will. Micah chapter 3 verse 8. But truly, I am full of power. By the spirit of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. Starting out with the head apostles, elder bishops of great millstone, and the men on down. You see, you see examples of that when we on the highways and byways, and when we do these sit-down videos, right? And of judgment, and of might, 
to declare unto Jacob his transgressions and to Israel his sins. So this is our job, man. This is our job. Matter of fact, let's just get it right quick. This is our job, 2 Timothy. But anytime we say something about these false prophets bringing out the scriptures the wrong way, they got a problem. They be steaming mad, man. Because they, they want everybody to go alone, to get alone. No, we're not here to, to go alone, to get alone. We're here to reprove. We're, we're here to do this right here. Let me let the scriptures speak. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2. Preach the word. What word? The words of the Bible. Because when we speak not according to this word, there is no light in us, right? These false prophets are full of darkness. Ain't no light in them. Because the scriptures say, um, no lie is of the truth. Because you could be teaching a little bit of truth, but then when you throw a lie in there, guess what? It ain't the truth no more, right? Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. No matter what the weather is, Lord permits. Go out there and teach the word, right? Reprove, meaning correct, rebuke. Pretty much the same thing, exhort with all long suffering. This is our job. The, look, this is our job, okay? Is to preach the word instant, in season, out of season, reprove, correct the Israelites with the word, rebuke them, exhort with all long suffering. Look, look, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, wholesome doctrine, yo, the truth. Our people don't want to hear the truth no more, but out of their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. So, of course, they're going to leave the true servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is teaching the truth according to the Bible and run to these false prophets that's going to tell them anything that makes them feel good. Teach them that they can do whatever the hell they want to do up under the sun. We're not like that. And they shall turn their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto favor. So, of course, the majority of our people are going to run to the false prophets that are teaching lies. You see? Oh, yeah. You, you can go to college. Oh, yeah. You got to, uh, it ain't no miracles. Look, look. You look foolish waiting on the Lord. Look, they go, they go, look. You can just, just club. You, you become famous rappers. Of course, they're going to be turned unto fables. You see? They don't want to hear the truth according to the Bible. But look, we still got to bring this word out. The true service of Yahweh Bashim Shah, we got to bring the word out, man. Once again, you got these false Israelite groups teaching that you can have anal sex with your woman. You see, they're teaching that if someone um, harms you, the way you get them back is, is to go and mess with their wives, which is adultery, which is, which is, which is punishable by death, might I add. You see, that, that's why there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. The, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding the evil and the good. Man, so the angels are seeing everything. They hear these false prophets breaking down the scriptures the wrong way, leading our people astray, but the deceiver and the deceiver are his. We're going to see if we can get that next. This is St. Matthew chapter 12, verse, um, we'll start at 35. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart, of, of the heart, meaning the mind, bringing forth good things. And an evil man, a wicked evil man, out of the evil treasure, bringing forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word, because that's the only thing these false prophets are doing, just speaking idle talk. They ain't really talking about nothing. You see? Just because you got the baddest garment on known to mankind, that ain't nothing to the Lord. The Lord wants you to fear him. The Lord wants you to teach the truth according to the Bible. Look, no matter what your garment look like, the Lord said, I want you, I need you to teach the truth, right? It says, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Now you got to give the Lord an answer while you was teaching that nonsense. Yeah, how about, and you know, the Lord's coming with fire, right? The Lord said he's going to plead, a.k.a. judge, with all flesh, with fire, right? You see, judgment is in is near. You got to give account thereof in the day of judgment while you was teaching that nonsense, while you was telling men to go mess with other men's wives, while you was teaching men to go take illicit drugs, while you was teaching men to um that they can have um anal sex, you know what I'm saying, with their wives. You got to give account thereof in the day of judgment. You see? You got to get, look, look, oh yeah, why you look, and, and you know they was um, pushing that juice, that jungle juice, so, so you can take the juice, you know what I'm saying? You see? You got to give account thereof in the day of judgment. It's a whole lot of blood on you false prophet's hands. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned, man. All right? Straight up condemned, man. And let's get that Ezekiel right quick before I forget it. 
And soon we say something about it. Damn you great Millstone members, man. Y'all always got something to say about something. You, you damn right we always got something to say. It ain't even us either. It's the Lord. It's the Lord. Ezekiel 14 and 9. But, but the one thing about these false Israelite groups, it's a necessary evil. You can't have one without the other. You can't have hot without cold. You can't have up without down. You can't have right without left, man. So this is Ezekiel 14 and 9. And the prophet be deceived. When he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, have deceived that prophet. So these false prophets that are out there speaking this madness, it's the Lord putting putting his spirit on these false prophets to speak the madness, man. You see, we get upset, we get kind of mad, we feel some type of way. But look, this is the Lord's movie. You see, the Lord got all kind of characters in this movie, man. And if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, have deceived that prophet. The deceiver and the deceiver of his, and I will stretch out my hand upon him. Eventually, the God of the Bible is going to make a move on these false prophets. You see? They're, they're, look, they think they're shining right about now. Look, the Lord is going to eventually, you know what I'm saying, make a move. Oh, yeah, can't, can't forget this. Thomas, um, these false prophets are promoting that you can have sex on the Sabbath. Can't forget that. Can't forget that. You see? Can't forget that, man. I, the Lord, have, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him, and I will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. And they shall bear the punishment. That's the little, you know, it's talking about um, the, the false prophets of the nation of Israel going right back to Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe unto the prophets that, uh, that scatter the sheep, pretty much, man. Lead them astray. There ain't even one of them about the wolves because they're wolves in sheep's clothing, man. These false prophets are wolves in sheep's clothing, right? And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him, man. You see? So so you false prophets and, and their congregation, you, you Israelites out there that's following these false prophets, if you don't repent and get away from those false prophets, you're going to receive the same punishment that they're going to receive or something worse, man. Or, look, look, Israel, or something worse, sir. Remember, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You didn't, you didn't even see that. You didn't even catch that scripture. You see? You falling after these false prophets, it's going to lead to you getting put to death, man. And, and you don't even know it, man. That's the thing about it. You don't even know it. Let's get this. Let's get this. Psalms chapter 120, verse 2. Deliver my soul. Yahweh by Shem Shai. Deliver my soul, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Because remember, no lie is of the truth, man. Let's get that definition for deceitful. We'll play it. Deceitful. Deceitful. Remember, deliver Psalms 122, deliver my soul, O Lord, from lying lips and, and from a deceitful tongue. This is the definition for the word deceitful. Look, guilty or involving deceit, deceiving or misleading others. That's it. Look, look, ain't that the characteristics of these false prophets? You see, deceiving or misleading others, dishonest, ain't nothing honest about them. Uh, look, untruthful, lying um, in, insincere, they're not sincere, false, uh, look, untrustworthy. You can't trust these false prophets, man. You can't. Look, look, unprincipled. Look, ain't got no principle. Two faced, um, um, underhand, crafty, nothing but a bunch of witches and warlocks, right? Cunning, very slick, man. Very slick. Oh, yeah, because the scriptures say, um, ye are of your father. Lord Yahweh was saying this too. Ye are of your father, the devil. He was talking about wicked Israelites, man. And, 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 you, and they followed, they followed right behind Sleazy E. They then took on the characteristics of Sleazy E. Look, look, hypocrites, hypocritical, act number actors, man. These false prophets are none but actors. They look, they look the part. They look the part. Look, sneaky. 
These false prophets are very sneaky, man. Tricky foxes. Crooked. Sh look, shady as hell. Look, 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 shitty. These false prophets are shitty, man. You see it. Uh, what else? Shitty, slippery. <laughs> well, false hearted. You know what I'm saying? Meaning they're not coming truthfully. Uh, let's see. Fake. Fake, man. Bogus. These are the false prophets, man. So let's read it again. Psalms 120 and 2. Deliver my soul, O Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, from lying lips and from a deceitful tongue. Let's see what else. Proverbs 12, 22. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. So, so you false prophets, you're a wicked, filthy act. That's what an abomination is, a wicked, filthy act. So you false prophets that are out there lying, you see, you're an abomination to the Lord. But they that deal truly are his delight. The men that's teaching the truth according to the Bible, the Lord is delighted with that. The Lord is delighted with that, man. You see? Um... Psalms 31 and 8. Remember, the scriptures say the truth shall remain, and the only thing that's going to set our people free is the truth. Psalms 31 and 18, and it reads, let, let the lying lips be put to silence. So eventually the Lord's going to take these false prophets out, teaching this nonsense, man. These false prophets teaching you that you can drink that juice, you no know saying that you can have anal sex with your woman. You see that you can take the M-A-R-K, you no know saying that um, that grain of rice. Uh, they're teaching you that if, if a guy, you know what I'm saying, does something to you, you know what I'm saying, the way you get him back is that you can mess with his woman. That, and that's adultery, which once again is punishable by death, man. You see? Let the lion lips and everything else, man. I can't even think of everything, man. That they teach you. It's all madness, though. Let the lion lips be put to silence. We speak grievous things proudly and, contemptu and contemptuously against the righteous. You see? Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah, these are the, some of the things the Lord hates. Listen to this. Proverbs 6, 17. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. So the Lord hates a liar. You see? Yahweh by Shemiah Roshai hates a liar, man. You see? Listen to this, Proverbs 13 and 5. A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame, man. Let's get loathsome. Loathsome. Cause hatred or disgust. You see? So a man is walking around lying. He he's, he eventually gets hated by everybody, man. And, and people hate liars, man. But then the majority of our people love liars. Remember, they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. But I just want to bring out a couple of quick scriptures through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahshua. Lord, one of the elect is edified. The Lord is going to destroy all you false prophets, man. Remember, every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. And as soon as we say something about it, remember, scorners and stripes for the back of fools. As soon as we say something about it, great millstone, y'all always got something to say about it. Y'all always got to say, you damn right. The Lord said, cry aloud, spare not, lift up your voice like trumpets. That's our job, man, is to say something. Our job is to say something, man. But you false prophets will receive. You look, you got to um, face the judge soon or later. You false prophets will face the judge soon. Come, man. Shalom.